An example of the German enemy operating in the field, points in which his methods differ from our own, and above all, the principle of self-sufficiency of his small units are shown in the sequence that follows. This field, surrounded by dense woods, is covered by an Allied light machine gun team whose job it is to delay the advance of a German infantry platoon, one unit of which, called a Gruppe, occupies a point in the distant woods. You will have a close view of the German. Watch for the points that may help you to spot him under combat conditions. Learn some of his tricks. You may be able to put him out of action before he can accomplish them. The Allied position, an improvised, lightly defended outpost. In fact, the top portion of an abandoned armored car. A good field of fire is commanded here, for as you will see, all the cunning and firepower at the command of 10 enemy infantrymen will be required to storm and capture the strong point. A common sight in the German army the sergeant as leader. He is very often a veteran of hard campaigns, perhaps even a military tactician in small-scale operations. Here you see him briefing his squad. He has drawn sketches, surveyed the terrain over which they must advance, and he has carefully planned each move. Now he passes on his instructions to the nine men who look to him as leader. Making up his assault team are six riflemen, and his three-man machine gun team. Three riflemen will attempt to work their way forward on the left flank, three on the right. Between the two will be the machine gun team. The right flank quickly working to find a position from which they can fire. Their job now is to occupy the Allied defenders while the left flank advances over a short stretch of open ground. Rapid movement is one of the principles by which the German hopes to overwhelm the opposition. However, in carrying out this principle, he usually employs every bit of concealment that the particular terrain affords. This is the left flank. The NCO will operate within, leading and giving his example of boldness and concentration on the swift fulfillment of his mission. The principal weapon, now about to go into action, the MG-34. Two men operate it while the assistant behind gives supporting rifle fire. 7.92 millimeter or 31 caliber. The rate of fire is from 800 to 900 rounds per minute. Remember the sound of this and the other weapons used by this squad. Richtefliegel Feuer. Right flank fire. <laughs> Having found concealed positions, the right flank concentrates on giving a steady stream of rifle fire covering the forward movement of the more exposed left flank. Fire and movement, the principle underlying modern infantry assault. Fire, steady, accurate, and overwhelming. Movement rapid and direct toward the point to be taken. Controlling his men by means of hand signal, verbal command, very pistol, and by the simple means of the whistle, the sergeant advances with the left flank. One blast, right flank advance, two blasts, left flank, and three for the machine gun team. Behind the tree, the sergeant prepares to fire confusing bursts with the Schmeiser. Here he is merely contributing to the volume of fire, for deadly results with this weapon are limited to a relatively short range. Well forward now, the cycle is repeated. Move under the protection of the opposite flank, take a concealed position, and begin coordinated fire. Responsibility rests with the sergeant to build up the line of fire, choose the right moment to lay down his smoke, and make a final assault. deceptive trick is shown here, rolling over several times after hitting the ground. 
When the terrain seems suitable for this means of deception, watch out for it. Fire and movement. This is the principle behind the short, rapid advances. The steady, sharp reports of rifle fire from both flanks and the bursts of covering fire from machine guns. The flanks have moved in closer and are converging for the final assault. Continuing its support, the machine gun team prepares to take a position in the closing circle of fire under cover of smoke. Your target is here, advancing between the two flanks. Because they seldom remain in one position very long, the Allied gunner has to be in his best form, alert and eagle-eyed, in order not to waste fire on a position that has been vacated. Allied bullets nearly have this man spotted. Notice the white hand showing through the brush. These Germans are flirting with trouble. They'll be out of the war quickly if they don't smear some dirt or mud on their hands. Lying between the left flank and the objective is that suspicious clump of bushes. Out comes the potato masher. Being constructed to deliver a maximum blast effect, its explosion will stun rather than cause injury by fragmentation. After tossing one, the usual method is to follow up immediately with the bayonet. Here, a prodding amongst the bushes reveals no occupant. Naval on Zetsum 4. With his group well forward, the sergeant has called for smoke. In order to conceal their tactics, smoke is laid as close to the opposing force as possible. With this accomplished, they will form up for the general assault, first throwing in all their remaining grenades. With each man carrying from three to six grenades stuck in his boots or held in his belt, this assault is intended to confuse and overpower the opposition with sheer sound and fury. The attacking squad has succeeded in building up a line of fire, and opposition seems to have ceased. If the defenders had been present in force, the Germans would have organized an orderly retreat, withdrawing first one wing, then the other. The leader gives the command for general advance, both flanks and machine gun teams. Grenades open up the charge. No fire now from the defender. A screen of smoke covering their movement. They rush over the last few yards, closer and closer. Every advantage of superiority and firepower and numbers being used. If there were a GI still sweating it out in this piece of abandoned armored car, we can only hope that he'll haul out right now and go join his outfit, because a very dirty trick is about to be played. Let's hope to an empty house. Often six or seven of these potato mashers are tied together for a demolition charge. The objective has been taken. All members of the group will move in. 
Sergeant gives rapid orders, consolidates his position, organizes the defense. In a short time, the Allies may return to take back this little piece of territory. Remember that in this film, you have seen a demonstration very near to the actual thing. In combat, however, it is unlikely that the enemy will present himself to your view in the same way. If you can see your enemy plainly, it usually means that you yourself are exposed. Also, a German soldier at a distance or in a semi-concealed position may not look very different from one of your own comrades. But his tactics differ. His manner of running from cover to cover is different. He has had training which once studied can give you a sure means of recognition. He is the barrier between you and the end of the war. The main problem is to remove that barrier by science, skill, and knowledge. If further study is desired, the Army places at your disposal numerous publications covering all phases of this subject.